I've seen it a thousand times. You don't have to fucking, you don't have to call out everybody who crosses you because eventually they're going to fuck themselves up. And then you can laugh in their face. And then you could fucking send them that tweet and go, go fuck your mother now, cocksucker, or whatever. <laughs> you know, that's why you got to be careful when you rub shit in people's faces. You got to be, you know. So, I'm not thinking nothing about Doug. Nothing. My life is going on. We're going to take you back to 1994. I did time. I, uh got into comedy and I went back to Jersey uh, 93 and I tried to get my life together after the divorce and I tried to do some comedy I got a job limo writing you guys have heard the story now I'm back in, um, I go back October of 93 November of 93 I go back to Boulder Colorado I want to be a dad I want to be a fucking father uh, I moved to Arvada first. I got a job at like Douglas Toyota, but I wanted to move to Boulder. I'm not a Denver guy. I'm a Boulder guy at the time. I don't know what Boulder's like now. This is at the time. So I finally got a fucking apartment in Boulder and I'm hustling. I'm trying to make ends meet and December comes along and boom, I got a fucking, somebody's telling me that Jim Wheeler's looking for me. So I go, really? I call Jim Wheeler back. This guy always had a job for me. He calls me and he goes, Joey, I got a fucking perfect job for you. No suits, no ties. We're going to work at a car lot named Sprinkler. Sprinkler car lot in Longmont, Colorado. He goes, I told the guy all about you. I told him that you could speak Spanish. He's going to give you a $5,000 advance, a $5,000 bonus, and he's going to give you a demo to come work here. And your hours are going to be 10 to 6 six days a week I go this is the perfect fucking comedy job it's not even in Boulder it's in Longmont between you and I guys at that time I wasn't very proud of going to prison so I kept it under the hat I felt very out of place um, I'd been out of prison four years and I still hadn't told Unless you knew me, I wasn't very open about that conversation. I kept that con I was very embarrassed at the time about it. And I had every right to be. I'm still embarrassed about it, but I, I did something with my life. So it's not as embarrassing as it was back then. But when you first come out of prison, I know for me, I was very embarrassed about it. And I wasn't as open as I am today about talking about anything. I didn't say shit to anybody about it. When Jim Wheeler called me, I go, Jim, is he going to check for felonies? And he goes, nah, don't worry about nothing. I'm going to get you a license. You're going to be fine. Because you need a license to sell cars only. You know, not only a driver's license, but you also need a sales license. And sometimes you can't get it if you have a felony. So he goes, don't worry about the license. I got you. So, boom, I go out the fucking sprinkler. Finally, you know, I'm going to get some fucking financial help. You know, I mean, I was making ends meet, but this car, this job would put me in the, you know, four to six, seven thousand a month range. And I could really do comedy and really, you know, like this will really help me. I still got my nights to myself. This job meant the world to me. I fucking went there, elbows and assholes, brother. You know me, dog. I just don't talk the talk. I walk the walk. I sold four cars in four days. I made like two thousand fucking bucks. First week, I think I made 2,800 bucks. Second week, I think I made like 2,400 bucks on cars. I mean, this was a great job. It was easy. It was for people that kind of had bad credit, so they paid a little extra financing, and you made money on the financing. It was gonna be a perfect job. It was already like December 15th, and I had made 5,000 bucks, and I was gonna go off, and this is it. This is gonna be my sales job. I got myself a sales job. I got my comedy career going. Everything's going on track. Finally, Sprinkler decides to have a Christmas party. December 18th, December 17th. One of those days, we're going to have a Christmas party. We're going to sell cars till 3. And then from 3 to 7, he's going to have a spread out food, the whole fucking thing. I get there. Everybody got t-shirts on. 
I think I sell a car and all of a sudden we close down and we're about to have a party. And it's still cool out. It's still, you know, 60 degrees out. It's Colorado. It's 60 degrees. In fact, it's so cool out, we're playing basketball. We're playing basketball. Bah, bah, bah. All of a sudden, you know, more people kept coming. You know, like the sprinklers party. More people kept coming. It's 1993. Who's at the fucking party? Who looks at me and goes, you remember me, man? I go, yeah. Shotgun Doug. And he looks at me and he goes, hey, man, don't call me fucking shotgun. And I go, all right, I won't say nothing. So now we're playing basketball and we're covering each other, right? I'm covering him. He's covering me. I'm pretty fucking good in basketball. Even though by this time I'm 30-something, I'm not fat. I still got a few moves and shit. I'm taking him to the hoop. I'm out rebounding him. He's making little comments. He's saying, oh, you got good playing, learning how to play ball in prison. Bro, my blood pressure went up. 2,000 over 2,000. So I started calling him Shotgun Doug. Shotgun Doug. Shotgun, what's the story? And he's like, don't call me Shotgun. I go, well, then check your fucking words, too. And he looks at me and he goes, I can say whatever the fuck I want. I go, remember 10 years ago when you said that the car hall and your buddy's head almost flew off his fucking shoulders? And he's like, that was then, but this is now and all this shit. And we're playing basketball. And I'm like, I can't lose this fucking job. I can't say nothing to this kid because I can't lose the job. But now, the guy that owned the fucking place, whatever his name is, is outside also. And he's watching, we're playing three on three, and he's watching us playing this fucking game, bah, bah, bah. And finally the guy goes, yeah, Joey got really good in prison. And dog, I was never so fucking embarrassed in my life. I waited, and all of a sudden everybody goes, yeah, the game is over, all right, let's go inside and eat. And we all got dressed and shit, and you know, it was just, just your regular car lot, with like a trailer, you ever see like they all have a trailer, like a, a metal trailer, yeah. and fucking, you know, Wheeler's my boss, Jim's there, you know, and I love Jim to death, and, and we're all talking, we're eating, I don't know, pizza, whatever, Mexican food, and I'm so fucking pissed at Shotgun Doug because he ratted me out, he told everybody I'd been to prison, I was so fucking embarrassed, plus, I still owed him a smack to the face from fucking 83 in the fucking Crestwood that day. So I look at him, I go, Doug, you want to smoke a joint? And he goes, he looks at me kind of weird, but he's a stupid fuck. Me, not knowing me, knowing I went to prison and whatever, knowing what we had just gone through, I wouldn't have smoked a joint with me. (laughs) 